In today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 luxury items that I will buy over and over again. I'm not too too sure who started this tag, but I was tagged by the lovely Je Suis Lou to do this video for you guys. Since we're approaching year end, I think this is one of the best times to do sort of like best luxury purchases of all times, but these are basically the ones that I really narrowed down that I feel like they're so strong that I would have to repurchase them if I ever don't have them anymore. So before I get started, I do want to thank today's video sponsor. This is the first time that I received anything from this company, Mom Silk, and I am already so impressed. I also learned that they are a sustainable and responsible company that gives back. They are absolutely gorgeous and so luxurious. What I'm wearing right now is their PJs. Oh my goodness, it is the most luxurious comfortable and silky and just like the most attractive pjs that i own navy color from head to toe and i chose this style because i wanted it to be just monochrome and simple style this really deep blue navy color is such a beautiful jewel tone and it is oh my goodness the silk is so 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 beautiful this is the other shirt that they have sent me so this is not a pj it is actually a dress shirt in a very very cute and feminine design with rounded collars and a v-neck design i love the simple white buttons that are covered in silk as well I used to favor the crepe silk, which is the matte silk, and they tend to be a little bit thinner. But now I definitely favor the more shiny silk because I feel like they are not only easier to maintain, they are also a bit higher quality. And I also love that it's a little shinier now. That's just, you know, just the look that I like more now. And I just can't get enough of white shirts. As a piece of clothing, silk is great for your skin, it's breathable, it keeps your temperature regulated. They came packaged like this for the clothing, so the PJ was in here and then the white shirt that I picked was in here and they come in these velcroed envelope. Here you have it and it is 100% mulberry silk. I am a big big fan of silk already. I use silk in almost all aspects of my life in clothing, in my beddings, in my blankets, my pillowcases. Right here I have their matching pillowcase so it came packaged like this. I chose it in the silver color like the grayish color which is so beautiful and so neutral. When you use a pillowcase that is silk it is great for not only your face, the skin on your face, uh, but it's also great for your hair. It doesn't snag your hair like the other fabrics would. At least try the pillowcases because I cannot sleep in anything other than silk pillowcases. Right here, I have the queen size pillowcase. And like I said, we only use orthopedic pillows at home. And this is also a queen size orthopedic pillow, but I guess their queen size is slightly larger, which is perfect. There's just a little bit of extra fabric and look at how silky smooth it is. The pillowcases and this set of PJ makes the perfect Christmas gift. They also work with the Southern California Goodwill Group to donate clothing back to the people in need. And their return policy is quite flexible up to a hundred days. These were sent to me straight from their factory, which means there's no middleman costs involved, which means that they're able to keep the costs low. They were sent to me directly from their factory. By the way, I wash all my silk items in the washing machine. Of course, I have a front loader at the most delicate cycle and you just take it out immediately. So you can either hand wash or you can put it in the washing machine like me if you have a very good front loading delicate machine. Just make sure that you take it out right away to reduce as much wrinkle as possible but a little bit of steaming will take care of any of the wrinkles anyway i will link every item that i featured down below i will also link my coupon code so you can save a little bit at checkout so the first item that i want to share with you guys that i will absolutely absolutely buy over and over again especially if i don't have it anymore or even if i have it i might even buy one more or two more depending on how i want to stack it that is my love bracelet i have the cartier small love bracelet 
in the 15 centimeter. I got my bracelet in April of this year and this is one of the first uh, fine jewelry pieces that I've added to my collection and I have to say that this is probably one of the best purchases of my entire life. I've already mentioned that before. I was wearing it and removing it a little bit more often at first so the for the first couple weeks i think two or three weeks i was removing the bracelet whenever i took a shower or just whenever i felt like i wanted to baby it a bit more but honestly after that i just wore it 24 7 i pretty much uh, practically haven't removed it for months now it's permanently on my wrist and cost per wear is so low and in fact the wear and tear even though I don't remove it at all anymore is really not that bad uh, obviously I don't go banging my wrist around but it really is not bad at all in terms of the wear and tear I'm sure you can see a little bit of scuff everywhere um, but it's not so bad and it's still such a ch shiny piece overall. So this is where my wrist is 15 centimeter. This part of my arm is 15 centimeter more or less. So it pretty much stays on my flesh this way and I can even stack other things here. I can actually wear my Apple Watch on here or my CDC bracelet right here and it would still stack beautifully. The fact that it's a small size bracelet but it still shows up like it, it looks like a regular size bracelet on my arm. It's just phenomenal. I just couldn't be happier with this purchase. If you have a bigger wrist, it's such a great stacking piece. If you have a small wrist like me, it actually already stands out on its own. So mine is in rose gold, uh, if I haven't mentioned that already. I just love this tone of gold on my skin tone. I'll link to my video where I unboxed it and my reasoning behind choosing this one. Uh, aside from the fact that this is the size that fits me the most. The thicker one, I just don't like the mechanism. It also looks a bit weird on my small arm, uh, the thickness uh, that is. So this is really the the one that really fits me and that I would buy over and over again if for whatever reason I don't have it anymore, which I wouldn't because I don't even remove it. And also, uh, if I ever want to add another one to stack with this, I can easily add the yellow gold or the white gold to stack with this one, maybe with diamonds or even other jewelry from other fashion houses. Even with fashion jewelry such as this CDC24, look how cool it is like together. It just, oh, it's just a perfect, perfect, perfect piece. So I'll just leave it on my arm, I guess. Um, the next luxury item that I want to feature that I think I would buy over and over again, although I shouldn't because I already have quite the collection, is my micro bags so i have all of these chanel micro bags and if you haven't seen any of these i will link to the videos where you can watch each and every one of them uh, being styled i know they're not for everyone but i feel like because it is the trend now it is the best time to get them yolo for now anyway and if i want to downsize i can always easily rehome a couple of these which I might actually because I did go a bit overboard. I will say that my favorite ones are these two. Of course, I've been using this one nonstop. All my things are always inside. It basically is my wallet, uh, but it fits more than just cards and money. It fits keys, it fits you know, your lip product, uh, a little compact mirror maybe. So it just depends on the shape of your items. This one is still brand new. I haven't used this one yet, but come summer, I'm sure I will, of course, use this one. So I guess this video is a little bit of eye candy on top of that, right? And then I have this caviar one. The caviar ones are so carefree. You don't have to worry about any uh anything what you're wearing it just works so well so this is a little belt bag in the boy style they are great they are very very uh easy to wear they are lightweight they feel like nothing but they're so stylish it is definitely sort of like a flex but it's a flex that is practical at the same time and if you get the lambskin it's super luxurious of course you have to baby it a bit more maybe but if you get the caviar they are completely carefree even in this light color so I don't see any downside aside from the fact that you can't fit a phone. Nowadays, most people have their phones on their hands. And in the winter, I have my big jackets. So I just put it in my pocket. Okay, the next luxury item is my Hermes Apple Watch. So I'm currently 
wearing my Apple Watch with the orange sport loop. You don't have to buy the luxury Hermes version, obviously. You can just buy the Apple version, which is a quarter of the cost. But I will say that I do exclusively wear the uh, Apple faces, uh, I mean the Hermes faces exclusively. And um, I... I mainly wear this one actually, but I do have the Apple ones for more data and when I work out. Aside from that, it's not going to be that much more different from your typical Apple one. They are amazing, by the way. It is an Apple product after all. I guess it's the Hermes Touch. I have the Double Tour in the thinner version. And of course, you get also their sport band, which... Um, is in orange color unless you go for the space black. Those things alone, the fact that I get the double tour, uh, the fact that it's an orange strap, which I thought I wouldn't like at first. I thought that I, I probably wouldn't wear the orange strap so much, but I end up wearing the orange strap more. We're not really going out as much during the pandemic. And so I've really been benefiting of using the sport loop because I can wash my hands, wash dishes, cook, everything without worrying about ruining the leather strap. The leather strap is amazing and I still highly, highly recommend it. Uh, actually, I highly recommend it because it is the look and it is way more dressy. I will definitely be rebuying one if I don't have one and I will definitely be upgrading to a new one when it's time to upgrade. So the next few luxury items are gonna be my handbags of choice that I will for sure be repurchasing over and over again if I had to. Not necessarily in this order, but I will just feature them in this order. So one of them has to be my Chanel 19 handbag. So this is the smallest size. And in this community, it is known as the small, but on the Chanel website is known as the medium. I know that Chanel prices have increased significantly and they're constantly going up and there's no slowing down. It's never really gonna go backwards, of course. So when I say that this is a repurchase worthy item, I really mean it because I know that, you know, even though the 19 has not gone up recently, it's still a very expensive bag. All of these bags are expensive. Uh, all of these things are luxury items, they're expensive. But this bag is so practical. It's such um, it's such an easy piece. Like, I never carry it like this. But like, it's uh, what I mean is that even if I squish it, it doesn't feel like I'm damaging the bag. It's just such an easy to carry and easy to style bag that is not a classic flap. Because don't get me wrong, I love the look of the classic. But when it comes to just really using your bag it doesn't get better than the 19. I, honestly, it's, it's one of the best bags out there. Big, large pocket in the back. Amazing and sturdy top handle. Um, the classic flap look. Single flap. Lightweight enough. Up next, we have the Chanel Mini. This is my only square mini. And if I had to repurchase it, I would go for the exact same one. It is the most timeless color combo and um, style of bag that I use a lot of. Uh, prior to the pandemic when I was traveling a lot, uh, this was the only luxury bag that I would take with me. I would take a bunch of different bags to travel, like nylon bags, tote bags. But when I have to pick one luxury bag to come with me as my evening bag, as my attraction bag, whatever it is, this is the one so i will have to repurchase this one if i ever don't have it anymore and unfortunately i know that the caviar minis are no longer available in the retail space um so i don't really know what i would do hopefully i never have to ever do that because i love this one and this is mine and it's not going anywhere ever, 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 ever in my life. Some of you might be wondering, okay, Amy, aren't you gonna talk about the classic flap? Because you have one and it's pretty much the most coveted Chanel bag. And uh, yes, of course I have to include it. Like I said, it's not really in this particular order, but classic flaps are getting very expensive, right? And so I still will repurchase one of course if i ever don't have this one anymore but it will be a very difficult purchase because not only are they even hard harder and harder to find but the price has skyrocketed it really is insane at this point it's so ridiculously stupid money but it is what it is classic flaps are classic flaps they're timeless the epitome of 
the holy grail of Chanel, right? This was such a special purchase for me because of the color and the size. So this is the small size. I just absolutely love it. Um, this gray color works well in the winter, works well in the summer. The next bag that I will feature, and this is also the last bag that I will feature because we should include more accessories, right? It's no fun if it's just all bags. The Gabrielle bag. I really am a big fan of the Gabrielle. I, I know it's still a love and hate for a lot of people, but those who know the Gabrielle and who, know, who own it and who love it as well, will know why because this is absolutely another one of those easy to carry sort of similar to the 19 but just different because it's a different design it does have a different construction as well i've done so many videos on this bag that i i, I don't know what else to say to to make my point across other than letting you know again that it's one of my favorite bags because it is so easy to use of course, smaller bags do work very well with my lifestyle, so that is one of the reasons, of course. But style-wise, uh, how iconic this one is, it is also one of Carl's design. Maybe some people still don't love it because of how it's so different from a timeless shape, like the classic flap. But that's what I love about it too. It's so different that, you know, I don't always have to just carry classic flaps because they are nice, yes, but they they can be boring if it's always the same thing right so having a, a bit of variety having these to to style your outfits they just make dressing up so much more interesting and so much more fun up next we have for sure uh, an item that's very very easily uh addictive and uh, so easy to just buy more and more and more of because of its price point which is a lot more affordable and um, you can have so much fun with it you can wear it in so many different ways and that is Hermes scarves uh, especially the 90 centimeters so I have my whole collection right here of 90 centimeter scarves which I put in a dust bag this dust bag came with my hat I have my whole collection of silk scarves here uh, including the Chanel ones and my Hermes ones but I have to say that all the Hermes ones, which I'm gonna flip to the other side, all the Hermes ones on top, these ones are absolutely my favorite. They are such beautiful designs, such beautiful silk. Uh, they are thicker silk, like I mentioned earlier, the thicker the silk is, the easier it is to maintain and the less it tends to uh, hold on to the creases because especially on a very thin scarf if you if you really mangle it you will probably have to press it so i love the better quality thicker scarves for that reason so these are chanel ones but the top ones are all my Hermes ones anyway i have a whole video where i showed you all my favorite ways of styling these silks uh, not only do you wear it in the summer or with the winter in the summer i wear these as tops yes they are amazing as tops in the colder months i use my um scarf ring the, this is from elmes too it serves as a decoration for a rather simple top you might not even need a wool scarf anymore if it's not so cold out there yeah these are great so i will link to the video where i styled all my scarves in different ways definitely have a watch because i spent a lot of time making that video because you guys asked for it and i show you all the different scarves that i have except one because there's one that's brand new that i um, didn't have at that time i will say that my collection of luxury shoes has increased exponentially this year and it's a good thing um i always thought that you know luxury shoes don't work for me because you know of uh how nothing feels comfortable to me however these almas shoes which are the loafers i am a big big fan of their loafers are so incredibly comfortable these are my paris loafers in the black color and silver uh, palladium hardware so i recently revealed this pair but i do have the royal loafers which are very similar to these with tassels in the gold tan color i do favor this shape more because this shape has a pointier toe so it has a um, more generous longer toe box which works better for my feet um, otherwise i have to size up and then the shoe can become too big and too wide 
Uh, so I do favor this style myself. Of course, we're in transitional weather right now and it's been raining constantly, so I didn't want to wear these pairs yet. Hi guys. So while I was filming the try on portion afterwards, hence the fact that I am in a different blouse, well, in the other blouse, uh, I realized that I forgot a couple of items. So another luxury item that I wanted to share that I would absolutely repurchase are the Hermes rings. I have the Kelly small size ring over here. There are two sizes to this ring. Mine has the four little tiny diamonds. And lately I have been favoring the Kelly ring, but I do have this one too, which is the CDC ring. So I'll just wear it side by side. As you can see, they are just so, so pretty. Uh, the CDC ring is not so plain, actually, even it does, even though it doesn't have diamonds, it's still so, so edgy and so amazingly beautiful. Um, like I said, sometimes I just, depending on my mood, I sometimes favor this one or the Kelly ring, but lately I've just been really enjoying the simple design of the Kelly ring. So yeah, even if I stack it, I mean, it looks quite awesome together so yeah i will say that one of the luxury items i will absolutely repurchase are my hermes rings because i know there are lots of ring designs out there obviously i was buying different things at hermes this year because i want my quota bag yes but i will say regardless these rings are absolutely worth it to purchase in the world of luxury you are paying for the brand of course they do come with, you know, their quality and uh, brand name and history and everything, but you are paying a bit more for the brand name. But even so, the prices of these rings for what you get, they're still absolutely reasonable in my opinion. So um, I will say Hermes rings, one of my favorites. So this was going to be a bonus item, which uh, I was going to add at the end of the video. But since I forgot to film it, uh, that's why you're seeing it right now, but this was supposed to be the 11th item and they are Chanel belts. I absolutely love, love, love my Chanel belts. I feel like if you're a fashionista, if you love dressing up and if you love the Chanel uh, signature intertwined leather metal look, you will love their belts. I have a vintage one right here. This one is 24 karat gold plated and it's very hefty, it's so heavy. Um, this one is absolutely beautiful. It has a Chanel plaque and a little medallion on one side. This one is more modern. It's from a more recent collection, 2019 fall, I think. And uh, this one is just very discreet with a little bit of logo. And even the belt that I'm wearing right now, which is the elastic belt, mine is from the Cruise 2020 or 2021. I can't remember now, but they do make these uh, elastic uh, Chanel belts every single season anyway They make it quite often anyway. You just uh, Get it in a different buckle design. So mine has big rhinestones and I absolutely absolutely recommend Chanel belts in a classic and timeless enough design Then it goes with absolutely everything just like you saw how I styled these two shirts they basically just pulled the whole outfit together. By the way, I didn't mention any Hermes bags because so far this is the only one that I own. And like I said, the weather has been crap, so I haven't worn it out yet. Um, so I can't really say if this one will be a repurchase worthy item. I have a feeling it would be, but I just can't officially include it because I didn't really have a chance to wear it aside from trying it at home. But if you haven't seen my unboxing of this, I will link it up here. It is such a beautiful bag. I already have an organizer for it. And yeah, oh my gosh, just looking at it makes me feel good. Let me know in the comment section, what is one of your or couple or as many as you want must repurchase over and over again luxury items so don't forget to check out mom silk of course like i said i have linked everything down below including all the items that i have mentioned 
and uh, yeah, check them out, especially this PJ. It's so beautiful. That's why I decided to just wear it the whole time. If you're brand new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you back. And if you want to further support me, you can also become a channel member where you get extra exclusive content and live stream just for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.